It's your boy Dowie back at you with another video. <sighs> These guys, what a freaking crazy week in the stock market, am I right? Dow Jones, down. S&P 500, down. NASDAQ, down. It's like the whole freaking market's bleeding like it got jumped by some dirtbags behind a swimmo. All right? All our beautiful gains over the past couple months down the freaking drain. I'm telling you guys, this has been the craziest week in my two months of stock trading. It's freaking crazy, all right? Then on top of this, we got these jokers like Maxine Waters, who ran the game stock hearings, and this other dude, Brian Schitz from Hawaii, who just introduced a bill that would create a financial transaction tax. Yeah, so every time you trade a stock on your Robin Hoods or your Weebles, you're going to have to pay a little bit to the government, all right? No thanks, you guys. These two are like the E. coli in Schuylkill Punch, all right? Even if you put that stuff through a Britter, it's still going to be there, okay? And make no mistake, you guys, this is a calculated effort by the big wigs on Wall Street and them jetbags in the government to take away your access to the market, all right? Because who can afford to pay that financial services tax? All the big guys. Who's it going to hit hardest? The small retail investors like you and me, all right? Make no mistake, you guys, this is what they're up to, right? They want to keep us dependent on them. They don't like that we have infiltrated their exclusive little club, that we figured out some of their code in the stock market, and we're trying to make a little bit of money just for ourselves, okay? They want to keep us dependent on them, okay? They're trying to take away our bootstraps and replace them with some cute little crochet baby booties, <laughs> all right? Anyways, enough about politics, guys. I really don't want to get too much into politics on this show because it's all dirty. It's all dirty crap. I mean, I'm from Philly. I know a little bit about dirty politics, all right? It's kind of what we do here. So, moving on. So, considering all the volatility going on in markets right now, um, nobody knows what to do. Everybody's freaking out. Everybody's considering pulling their money out, which, please, guys, don't do that. That's exactly what those freaking jet bags want you to do. They want, you, they want to scare you off. Then when you pull your money out, all right, you got to hodl for now. You got to hodl, all right? So anyways, uh, here at John Vesting, we figure what better time than now to debut a new segment on the show that's going to be highlighting some bright spots in the market, all right? And we're calling that new segment. This stock, this stock, this stock is on fire. This stock, this stock, this stock is on fire. Yo, welcome to this Stocks on Fire. Shout out to the Bloodhound Gang, really cool band from King of Prussia Mall. All right, Monco represent. Uh, incidentally, King of Prussia Mall, for those of you who don't know, is the best mall in the entire freaking world. All right, don't even come at me with that Mall of America bullcrap. That place is a shithole. All right, King of Prussia Mall all the way. Okay, you guys, so for this first installment of this Stock is on Fire, we got a brand new Philly-focused ETF for you guys, okay? Um, and so if you're new to the market, an ETF is basically an exchange-traded fund. So what that means is here at John Vestin, we come up with a whole cornucopia of businesses in a similar sector. And then for you guys, instead of going around and trying to find all these individual stocks to put your money in, you can simply invest in the fund and then here at John Vestin, we'll take care of dividing up your money amongst all the different businesses in the fund, therefore maximizing your profits, okay? And so guys, what could be more Philly than a cheesesteak? You know? You, all right, you guys can tell I'm excited. I probably have not been this psyched since we first introduced these guys to Hogecoin. But today, I'm very, very pleased to announce to all you guys the very first cheese steak ETF, these guys, okay? The ticker on that is going to be CZSTK, okay? You can find that on all the major exchanges. You can find that in your Robin Hoods and your Weebles and your TD Ameritrades and all that stuff, guys, okay? So we got all the big players in there. We got Johns, we got Genos, we got Tony Luke's, we got Sonny's. Um, who, oh, you know, we we had chinks in there, but ever since John Veston went through our diversity, equity, and inclusion training recently, we realized that 
Chinks is not cool at all. That name is super offensive, and so we had to kick Chinks out of the fund. Um, you know, I heard they changed their name to like Joe's or something, but whatever. You're still canceled. All right. So you guys, uh, search up that ticker, you know, and if it's something you feel good about, um, and hopefully you trust us with your money, we've got a really good history. Um, put a little bit in, you know, and then check it every week and check on your returns, you know. And uh, I'm telling you guys, we're all going to make a little bit of money on this. All right. Cheesesteak ETF. Freaking love it. All right, you guys, I think that's probably it for episode two of John Vest, and uh, I'm going to try to do another one really soon. i got to go to my sister's house. She's got some dead cats in her butter, but uh, I'm going to try to do another one real soon, all right? I love you all. Power of people. Peace, love, and hope coin. Daily and the rest of the crew of John Vestin are not licensed financial planners. Anything you've seen or heard on John Vestin should only be used for entertainment purposes only. It should not be used for official investment advice. 